Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the first part of question number third. In this, you are given that there is a there is an AP whose first term is five and the common difference is three and the last term, which is a n of that AP, is fifty. You have to find n means you have to find the number of terms in that AP and you have to find S n means you have to find the sum of that AP. Now let's form first of all. Let's form that AP. If the first term is five, and common difference is three, means you are adding three to this term to make the next term, and and so on. And the last term of this AP is fifty. First of all, you have to find n. Means you have to find the number of terms in this AP. Now, if you want to find the last term, or you can say. The nth term we have a formula which says that a n is equal to a plus n plus one into d, and here the last term is given to you as fifty. The first term is five, and the number of terms you have to find out, and here the common difference is three. Solving this, we'll get the number of terms in this AP. So this is fifty. This is five. Opening this bracket. This three will multiply with both with n as well as with one. Now these two are constants. These can be added, and the other terms will remain as it is. Now this constant can be shifted to this side, and positive eight will become minus eight, and fifty minus eight will be forty-two, and three n. Now the value of n will be equals to forty-two upon three. Which is equals to fourteen. So here, fourteen terms must be there in this AP where the first term is five and the last term is fifty. Now you have to find the sum of this AP. Now to find out the sum of an AP, we have a formula which says the sum is equals to n by two, two a plus and minus one into d. And there is another formula. If we know the last term, so we can also find the sum using this formula, where a is the first term and l is the last term. This is same as this. So, if I use this formula to find out the sum, my calculation will be easy. You can find the value, or you can say the sum of this AP using this formula also. You have to substitute the values of n, a, n, d, and you have to solve this, and you will get your answer. Now here the number of terms are fourteen by two. The first term is five, and the last term is fifty. So this will be equals to seven, and this is fifty-five. So this is seven fives are thirty-five, and seven fives are thirty-five plus three is thirty-eight. So the sum of this AP must be equals to three eighty-five. So this is how we can solve this first part. If you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can contact to us the phone number and the email address is given below in the description thank you